Well, hello there, motherfuckers, and I'm here with another movie review. So, you know, th this is the great thing. So I was extremely happy, of course, about uh, Donald Trump getting the election. Oh, it's a movie review, Brian. Why are we talking about Trump again? Well, I was feeling high on patriotism. But still, I wanted to check out Doctor Strange. However, you know, um, my friends really didn't want to go see that movie instead want to see Hacksaw Ridge. I wasn't even aware of this movie, but once I was informed that Mel Gibson is the director, I was like, fuck Doctor Strange. I'm going to see this movie. I don't give a shit at all the crap that you give Mel Gibson. This guy is a legend in Hollywood. That's fucking Mad Max right there. This is the guy from Lethal Weapon. This is the guy who was in Braveheart. This is the guy who directed Passion of the Christ. This is this is a legend in Hollywood. I don't care about how controversial he might have been um, at one time or another. You know, Mel Gibson is where it's at as far as filmmaking goes and, you know, being an actor. So Mel Gibson is going to sit this one out in Hacks Origin. He's just going to sit in the director's chair for that one, but that's okay. So Andrew Garfield is back. Yes, Peter Parker from the Amazing Spider-Man movies that I didn't like. And I'll say that this guy really stepped up his game. So we've got a couple of people in here. Vince Vaughn is back playing the drill sergeant. But what is this movie about? It's about a, it's about a kid called Doss. His father was in World War I. Now we're in World War II times. And he wants to fight for his country. But he doesn't want to use a gun doesn't want to use a rifle, doesn't want to kill people. He wants to save lives. He meets a nurse, and it kind of influences him to join up with the service, to join in the military, but he doesn't want to use a gun. So he's charged with disobeying an officer um, and refusing to do rifle training, and he ends up going on trial. His father then writes a letter to the brigadier general and gets him off the hook as far as it comes to using a rifle, and now he could just train as a medic. That's what he wanted to do. That's what he went to the military for. And, you know, that's what he's going to be performing, you know, during he's going to be on the battlefield as a medic. Um, and I'll tell you something. This movie, it's like, it, it's up there with Saving Private Ryan as far as how graphic. Maybe it's not as graphic as Saving Private Ryan, but... You see people getting blown up. You see people with injuries. You see it all pretty much. Very, very visually stunning movie. I mean, there's a level of violence. If you don't like violence and you're bothered and triggered by violence, sit this one out. But this movie, I mean, not only is it like a very passionately made movie, but it's very emotional. And there's a lot of moments in this film where I really teared up. It, it, it's fucking incredible. I mean, this guy, they show... It, it's not just like a couple of examples. We see him on the battlefield, Doss, and he's going back and forth. He's saving people's lives. You see him, he's tying a rope around people. He's lowering him down cliffs to get him back uh, to the rest of... Um, you know, to, to the rest of the military. He's, uh, he, he's... This guy was like an American hero. And at the end of the movie, you actually see the real Doss in an interview an interview from 2003. I, I was like, damn. I was like, this guy was a fucking American hero, and he's one of the unsung heroes. Because he, I've never heard of anything, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly why, why Mel Gibson put this film out. I love those these types of movies, and I love the pacing of this film. From start to finish... I never felt bored at all. This story was told, and you know, you would be like, oh, this is the guy's life. How are we going to be bored with it? It's still storytelling. You know how when one person tells a story, it could be fucking boring as shit, but then another person tells a story, and it's like the best story you've ever heard in your fucking life? It's all about presentation. It's all about pacing, and it's all about how you go about telling the story and, you know, the words or the visuals and the dialogue here in the movie's case that you use to further the story along. And this is what I'm saying about Mel Gibson. 
This guy just has it when it comes to storytelling. He told a beautiful story here that really makes you appreciate this American hero. Really, and you know the visual presentation here. I saw a lot of practical effects. You know, I, I saw a lot of makeup here. Um, I don't think that there was a lot of special effects, and I'm kind of hoping that there wasn't because I kind of want to just believe that there were a lot of practical effects being used. But I was really, like, stunned by this movie and just the effect that Das had, uh, you know, on the battlefield while not even really uh, doing anything violent. It, it, it really was kind of moving that this guy cared so much. He put himself in harm's way a number of times. Even going back onto the battlefield to save more people. He saved something like 75 people, I think, on the battlefield. Uh, before getting injured himself. I, I don't know. I was really just blown away. I, I mean, this movie, not only did you get to see the romance in his life, then they don't stay too hung up on that. You know, they, 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 they show you... Um, you know, when he's in boot camp and they show you when he's on the battlefield in each step, you really feel like the story's moving along and it really does. And I got to give credit also to Vince Vaughn for, as the drill sergeant. He did a great job in that role. Um, everybody really did their part in this film. I was really pleased from start to finish. Uh, I didn't really have any issues at all. Uh, I really thought that this was a well-paced, well-thought-out uh, story. And it really gave you appreciation for the character. Um, this is definitely a total recommendation for me, especially if you guys are like a fan of World War II movies, war movies, or just really, you know, uh, movies like this in general, dramas. And, you know, you could even say action at times because, well, it's, you know, there, there is action going on. I mean, it is a violent movie. It really shows you how horrible war is and what it was like in World War II. Um, you know, this is not a movie that dances around it. This is like a, a true gritty movie. Um, you know, this is kind of like something you'd expect from Clint Eastwood um, in a way. This is like a different direction for Mel Gibson, but I think it's a beautiful film. If this guy doesn't get an Oscar for this film, for the level of patriotism that this film shows, and it, it, it shows one of the unsung heroes from World War II, Brings, brings him to light. If he doesn't get an Oscar for this, an Academy Award, whatever the fuck it is, uh, I'd say that the Academy is completely biased. I mean, I don't see what other movie that you could give that would be more deserving of an award than this one. This, this is best picture, without a doubt. All right, guys. Um, I definitely recommend this film to you. Uh, it, I think you're going to really enjoy it. All right, guys.